Oops. Welcome back to my tarot cards. It's Jasmine. I have a video for you. This is for February, January, February, March, April, May. Sorry, it's for February, March, April, and May for three months. Predictions for February, March, April. February, March, April. Okay, not January, but February, March, April. Sorry, y'all. And, um, yeah, it's for, by, we're going to go by the elements, water, earth, air, and fire. And we're going to see what's coming in. As you see, I spilt my drink. But anyway, that is my magic potion. And then we have my magical cup that you can manifest things with. If you want help in manifesting good luck and health, money, and love, then you're going to use this cup. The link is down below. You purchase it. What you do is write down your manifestations, what you want to happen in those areas on a piece of paper. Then you're going to fill your cup with your favorite drink. And then you're going to pray over it. Always pray in Jesus' name because all good things come through him. And then you're going to pray what you wrote on this, the paper. And then after you drink, you're going to set the cup on top of that paper and I added an extra step to it. You're going to get a small cup of water about this big, and you're going to set it next to it. That cup of water is going to stay there all the time. It's not going to move, and you just keep refilling it as the water goes down. You don't drink out of that one. You drink out of this one. And then you'll see you're going to start manifesting all your desires, okay? Um, let me get my phone and a little bit off here today but let's get started so <clears throat> remember this video is not made for kids if you're under the age of 18 please click off now i have the sun shining behind me hold on i'm gonna shut that shade okay i close the shade i think that will help in um the light in here i am in my dining area so and i'm using my phone y'all my laptop broke i've been wanting to do um live live readings for you but i haven't been able to because i don't have a laptop and it broke so i'm waiting on income tax money return to come so i can purchase a brand new laptop that is why i haven't done any but i'm going to continue with the readings i'm running a special right now i posted it in the community post go there to see about the special it's a ten dollar special it's from now to the end of the month also if you want a personal reading contact me with the email down below um, you know, for an extended one, those do cost. And um, all my other links are down below. My my brother has an art page. I put his link down below. Please look at it, subscribe, watch his videos. They're only like a minute long. And, you know, try to support him as well. Everything else is down below. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to go with the four elements. And we'll be shuffling. As some people say, you don't shuffle on camera. But I do. So we're going to move this aside here. Um, let's start. I already prayed over my cards. Um, I'm going to go with water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. If you are a water sign, you are a Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. What do you see for water signs for February, January, February, March, April, May? February, March, April, May. God, I can't get those months right. All right, for the next three months. Next three months besides January for water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio. Give me one more card. Here we go. All right. I'm only going to do three. We got past, present, and future here. So I am seeing the Ten of Cups. This is a very good card to get. This is when you have the ultimate life. You have marriage. This is a marriage card, and it's also a baby card. But this is someone that's about to get married or going to get married or already did or it could be coming. You have the rainbow here. All the cups are inside the rainbow. Why? Because that's what the rainbow is offering you. It's offering you all these cups represent something. You got money, love, friendship, um, job, everything that life could offer. You have that. You have a beautiful home. See how the couple is uh, raising their arms up, saying how happy they are, and their children playing right here on the side. Blue represents deep thought. So you are going to manifest something like that. Some of you could be getting married 
here in the next few months, or I would say anywhere from three to 10 months, you could be getting married. All right. Now, this is the card of loss. Okay. Here we have the five of cups. Uh, yes, cups. And the upright represents a huge loss. Okay. The person is depressed because they're wearing black. They're hanging their head because these cups spilt. Okay. Whatever was in them spilt. What did the cups represent? Money, love, family, relationships, things like that. And it spilt, so they lost. It could have been a death. It could have been, um, you know, losing a child or losing a friendship or losing a job, anything. It spilt. But it's in the reverse. But see, you still have two cups behind representing you still got life left. You still got things left. You can't be sad forever. So this card is here to tell you to move on in the reverse, meaning it's going to pass. Okay, you're going, it's going to pass. I feel like something happened to you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that was quite devastating in December. During Mercury retrograde, it was quite devastating. You lost something. You lost friendships. You lost a job. You lost a relationship. But you lost something during Mercury retrograde, and it was quite devastating for you. It's like you've been in your mind about it a lot. And, and you were very angry and sad and hurt all at the same time. And you were like, there was somebody that did something. And you were like, how can this person have done this? At first, you didn't know who it was, but then you found out. Or you have thoughts of where it led to who you think it might be. And then the truth comes out. But you were like, how can these people have done this to me? I can't believe it. They lied. I see a lot of lies that came through. And it almost cost you your job or it did cost you your job or your relationship or whatever. And you were very, very sad and very, very hurt about that. But you're getting past it and you are going to get past it. So, you know, just keep your head up and keep moving forward. I am seeing, I remember, God always brings karma. Anyone that's done anything to you that's wronged you, anyone that's committed a wrong towards you, karma always comes back. You don't have to, like, take revenge because karma always comes back. That's God's law. So if someone did something to you, it will come back to them times three. Times three, y'all. Not just one time, two times, but three times. Whatever they made you lose, they will lose three times. Whatever they made you suffer, they will suffer three times. It's just the natural law. So it's going to happen. All right. So here we have the fool in the reverse. And the upright, this is someone that's taking a new adventure. So I see some of you wanting to go a new direction now that 2024 has come. So you've packed your bag, you're off on this new adventure, maybe you accepted a new job, a new position, a new relationship, or you want to try for a new relationship, some of you want to try, because remember this is general, it's for everybody, if it doesn't resonate with you, just take what does resonate with you and the rest leave behind, okay, so this is... Um, so I'm going off on a journey. They're happy. And, and this journey is going to bring a lot of things. And they're in deep thought. Here's the blue deep thought. But they're not paying attention to detail. Don't ever do anything unless you're paying attention to detail of, of what this thing entails. You know, what all is included in it. If it's a new relationship, okay, what all is included in it? Does this person have baggage? Is this person a good person? Do they drink? Do they smoke? Is that something you like? Something you don't like? You know, you have to ask questions. But it fell in the reverse for you. That means it's not going to be all that great. You have to be very, very careful choosing whatever it is that's come into your life because you could fall off that cliff or I see you falling off that cliff meaning that it's not going to work out it's going to be in stagnation and delay all right so don't let that happen to you if you um, um, met someone new check them out before you fall fall for them deep I see some of you falling for someone deep but they don't communicate with you that well I'm seeing some of you talking to somebody new, but they're not really communicating with you. They only text you every now and then, and they come over, and you're with them, but then all of a sudden, then that's it. Okay, you got to check those things out, because a relationship that's real isn't going to be like that. The person's going to communicate with you all the time. If someone wants to be with you, they're going to communicate with you on a daily basis. Okay, so let me take a drink of my magic potion here. You like my cup? Ooh, that is tangy. It's lemony and tang tangy. Okay, so, yeah, check things out before you move ahead. Good things are coming for everybody. Um, this year is going to be a lot better than last year because we have a lot of planets that are no longer in retrograde that are moving forward. So that makes the energy calm down of us losing things. 
I see money situations improving. I see health situations improving. We are in the big C season. Um, a lot of people do have it. Um, and remember, it continues to mutate every year and it changes. So even if you've been vaccinated, you probably need a booster because the germ changes, it mutates, and they piggyback on each other so they become stronger. All right, that's how germs work. They piggyback on each other. They don't just come in one germ. They come in three or four germs on top of each other. So they mutate and they come in stronger. So just remember, keep that in mind. Get your flu shots. All right. Get your, your big C shots. Do whatever it takes to protect yourself. I've had the big C shots and it does, doesn't make you sick. It doesn't make you crazy like people say it does or whatever. It's just something new. Um, you know, we all have to protect ourselves from disease. Just like, you know, childhood shots at one time, those were invented too. And people were like, well, I don't want to take the polio shot and I don't want to take the measles shot. Well, you know, the government has to develop things when these big major diseases come. The government has to develop uh, immunizations to keep us safe. So this is the same thing. The big C, big C shot is the exact same thing. It's to um, protect us from a new disease that came in. It's just all new to us, and we're taking it as adults, so we're, we fear, you know. But there's really nothing to fear of, all right? Um, the, the only fear is the big C. You should fear that, all right? So this was for Pisces. Cancer and Scorpio for the next three months. All right. So now we're going to shuffle for Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for the next three months. There's one that fell out already. And Spirit does tell me which cards to use. Spirit does pull the cards. And that's how we go from here. So Taurus. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. What do you see for the next three months, 2024? There's one that popped up. Show me what you see for Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn for the next three months. Uh, all right. I'm only doing three cards at a time. All right. So here we have the chariot in the reverse. So in the upright, this is when you're traveling. I see some of you traveling abroad or far, you know. So you see how the chariot here is coming in. The lions are pulling the chariot, but there's no reins. There's no strings, no reins here to for the, him to control the lions. So that means he's controlling this trip himself with the power he has mighty power because there's this power stick he's holding it up and then yellow trip this trip means that this the yellow means that this trip brought in something good all right and then he has the stars of the heavens to protect him but for you it's in the reverse so that means this trip did not go well this could have happened during mercury retrograde or this is something that could happen if you go on a trip so be very very careful when you go on a trip you know always prepare for the worst carry equipment for breakdowns or prepare for the worst because you never know what could happen uh, especially the way this world is right now you just don't know what could ha happen so be very careful when you go on a trip because i don't see it going all that well all right so here we have the um seven of wands this is the card of defense this is the card of gossip this is the card when somebody is attacking you you see how the um here the wands are being poked up at the man on the hill and he's poking back. He's deep, deep in his mind. Look at his face. He's angry. He's mad. He's fighting back. So this is something that you have done. It looks like someone was gossiping about you, maybe at the workplace. It was, it was a group of people. It wasn't just one person. It was a group of people that attacked you, maybe at home, maybe your relatives, your friends, or somewhere you were out, someone attacked you and you were jabbing back, fighting back. But now it fell in the reverse. So now that it's in the reverse, this represents that the threat has passed. You fought that as hard as you could, and you're like, man, the threat has passed. The other people have laid their arms down. They're no longer going to bother you, so it's passing. This is a passing nature. It was a near miss. I'm hearing a near miss. Maybe you won a legal battle, or you won some type of battle, or you won the argument. Um, yeah, you, you're you're like accepting what has happened now, and you're... You're moving on. You're going to move on. Um, yeah, this is a lot. This was a lot. It was something that had you really worried, but the threats have passed. So that's good for you. Now I am seeing the lover's card. This is someone that's coming in for you if they haven't already. This is someone that um, 
really is interested in you, okay? And this relationship is blessed by the 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 angel up above, but they're naked, if you notice, and the this represents sexual activity. So this although this person really likes you and they want you, they have one thing on the brain and that's sex on the brain. So they want that first. So, I mean, if you're the type of person that does that right away, I mean, cool, that's, that's what you want. But if you're not, then be careful with this type of energy because that's what they're interested in first. And a lot of people like give that up first and then later it doesn't work out and then they feel horrible about themselves because they did that first. So just be careful with this type of energy. Um, this is great energy. This is great sexual compatibility. So whoever this person is, you're going to have a great, great sex life. All right. I probably shouldn't use that word so much because I might get demonetized. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I see for, for you, uh, Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. All right. So next we're going to do Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the next three months. What do you see for Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the next three months? Show me Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the next three months. There's one that fell out. Show me Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the next three months. What do you see? Show me Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the next three months. Show me Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius for the next three months. Okay, so... <coughs> excuse me. So here I'm seeing the um, five... Let me see, five, six, seven, eight of Pentacles. And then we have the nine of... That's the nine of wands in the reverse. And then we have the seven of cups in the upright. So for the first one, it looks like you are working very hard, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. You've got a plan now. You've got a routine now. When before you didn't, and now you do. So you're making that money. Your money's starting to come in or will start to come in. I see you stacked your coins neatly here up above and um you're working on one here you're wearing blue that means you're in deep thought about your money so the next three months this is what you're going to be thinking about you're going to think about money how to make money where's the money going to go what you're going to do with it and then you got one down here at the bottom meaning you still got work to do so this is just a uh, progressing moving up up in the money chain Keep working hard. This is card is just telling you, and you're very passionate about it too. Keep working hard, and your money will continue to build. Okay, just continue to build. Now here we have one. This is similar to the other one. Um, this is the card of defense as well. I'm seeing some of you feel like life has beat you up, not just a person or or, or a certain situation, but I'm feeling like some of you feel like let down in the year 2023. Life has beat you up. It didn't go exactly the way you wanted to. Your situations didn't like love situations, friendships, you know, whatever. It just didn't go the way you wanted it to go. So um, you kind of feel beat up. So so the man is tired. He's leaning on this pole. The pole's helping him, you know, stand up. He's got a bandage on his head representing he's been beat up. Okay, he's looking around. Look at Look at his face. He's looking around saying... Okay, what's next? What's coming? And he's fighting for all these wands that are standing behind him. What do these wands represent? Family, life, money, love, job, whatever. And he's in deep thought. Blue is deep thought. So he's like, okay, I got to defend what belongs to me. But people, people keep trying to take it away. Okay, so I'm seeing some of you. People keep trying to take things from you. They keep interfering in your relationships. They keep interfering in your job. And, you know, things like that. Let me get a drink. Oh, my God. That is so tanky. Um, so, but it's in the reverse. All right. So, so it's in the reverse. I mean, is you need to take a break because it seems like this situation has really got you down. You're lacking the stamina to go forward. The situation has really beaten you up. Um, so it's, this card is basically telling you, you, you need to regroup. You need to stop. You need to regroup. You need to rest get over the situation, and then you can move forward. So you might need to take some time out, a few weeks, maybe a few days or a few months, you know, take some time out to regroup. Okay, 2023 has passed. So the new year is here. Maybe 2023 wasn't so good for you. Maybe it beat you up. But the new year's here, so everything has passed and it's gone. Okay, why do I say that? Because once you take this break and you're done, Taking a break, new things are coming in. Here we have the Seven of Cups. This is the the 
see the cloud it's coming from the universe the hand of the universe offering you new opportunities so i see a lot of opportunities here for you we have all these cups we have seven cups each cup holds something all right so we see money we see good luck we see people could mean any people could mean friendships relationships whatever we see a home we see a dragon and a snake so some of these cups aren't so good but the main one is covered up okay so why is it covered up it means you can't see it so that indicates you have to be careful with which cup you choose although you're getting all these deals coming in i'm seeing a lot of emails coming in with emails saying hey we got a job for you over here we got this opportunity over here check it out first okay, don't just take it without checking it out that's like being with the fool the fool falls off the cliff all right check it out first because some of them might be the snake might be the dragon or might be whatever's under here which we don't know could be something bad so yes you're going to get lots of opportunities coming in but check them out first check out it in detail detail y'all check things out in detail ask questions before you take anything okay that is the message from this card here this is for fire signs aries leo and sagittarius you're going to be okay take a break take a break because i see life has beat you up a little bit take a break and then start over in 2024 all right y'all okay so the next one would be last but not least is air signs do not leave in the curse what do we see oh we're gonna have to take that one air signs do not leave in the curse air signs do not leave in the curse oh this one doesn't count air signs do not leave in the curse all right so this is pretty much basic okay so here we have this is for air signs do not leave in the curse here we have the ma magician but he's in the reverse meaning that you you don't have the opportunity to manifest right now or you didn't because this is in the past position that means that you didn't have much of an opportunity to manifest in 2023 and it's kind of dragging into 2024 but this card can be turned around all right so that means you got to keep trying you got to keep moving forward you got to keep don't give up okay don't give up because just because it's in the reverse don't mean that it's not going to flip later all right, because the universe is on your side. Sometimes they have to take things out. And if you're not letting go of them, if you're in stagnation, you're not letting go, you're not letting doors close. It even takes longer for the new things to come in. The universe has to see that you have let things go, close doors down so new doors can open. And if you haven't done that, then you need to do that. If you don't know how, contact me. All right, I will show you how. All right, so then we have the uh, six of wands here this is the rider you see him riding on this horse horses always mean movement this is a travel card moving somewhere going somewhere this is victory because here we have the the infinity sign meaning victory traveling in victory but again it's in the reverse for you so if you do plan to travel for a job or some romance or something like that it might not be that successful because it's in the reverse. It might be stagnation. You might run into stagnations. You might run into some type of troubles on the road. You might run into a, a, a no answer. I'm hearing somebody saying no. So be careful. Check things out. Don't just run off at the first opportunity that you get because you might end up like this, stuck somewhere, stuck in stagnation. You're in your mind about it. And I don't see travel to be that well right now that a few months pass before you try to travel anywhere, especially abroad. That's a warning for you, a strong warning. Do not travel abroad in the next three months, all right, because it will not be successful. You will not see successful. I also see a plane crashing. I see a plane crashing. So in the next three months, I would not fly if I was you. All right. So then we have the lover's card again. We all know who the lover's card is. Sexual activity very intense this brings very very intense activity which is quite good it's great in other words but this person has this on the brain rather than seeking a relationship first they want to do this first and then seek the relationship later which is not always a good thing not always a good thing so you have to be careful with this type of energy if that's the type of person you are wham bam thank you ma'am then go for it but if not then i would wait a while before you enter into anything like that remember there's a lot of diseases out there protect yourself 
always protect yourself because nobody else is going to care if you're protected or not. They're just going to want to get what they get and then leave you in the dust. All right, so protect yourself and you will be okay. All right, but this, this, I do see this person liking you. Okay, I do see them liking you, but it's just that they want that first. They're, they're anxious to get that first out of you or vice versa. Maybe you're anxious to get that first from them. Be very careful with this type of energy, y'all. Very careful. All right, y'all. So take a break, rest, and then move forward. Proceed. Always pray, y'all. Always pray. P prayer is the biggest, um, most help in the world. Without God, we are nothing, absolutely nothing. All right. Just keep that in mind. If you don't have a personal relationship with him, get one soon. We are in our last days. I know people have been saying that since the beginning of time, but I guarantee you that we are. We really, really are. All right. I see this next presidency being the last one before the great tribulation comes. So be very, very careful. Be prepared. How do you prepare yourself? By the word of God. Read the word. The word. All right. If you don't know how, contact me. I will teach you how. All right. This is it for now. Y'all, if you would like to leave a tip, my everything is down in the information down below. Tips, donations. If you want a personal reading, contact me. And I am running a $10 special. It's in the community post. Contact me. If you already have my number, text me, email me, or whatever you got to do to reach me. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. This is Jasmine from Magic Tarot Cards.